Hey guys, it's Shalon Black, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my skincare routine and also a really quick glam that I like to do. So my first step that I like to do is to actually shave my head. So for me to do like a bald look, cause you guys, I, I love rocking my bald head. So I'm just applying shaving cream and then we are going to be shaving this hair. Well, I don't know what hair, but you know what I mean. Now I'm just going to be taking my pre-cleanser and I just do about like three pumps of this on my hand. Honestly, for my skin, I don't really do much to it because I kind of figured out that when I try to use all these different products or a lot of products, my skin doesn't really do great. So I keep my skincare routine very simple and basic and just straight to the point. I just like to add a little bit of water. That feels so good. This is what I like to use for my second cleanser. And this is from Tatcha. This is like life changing because I feel like it just makes my skin very plump and smooth. So I just added some water to make it, you know, for me. I like to go underneath my eyes and just work that. Oh yeah, and you gotta go down to the neck. Do not neglect the neck. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse that off. Whew. I'm going to be taking my toner. And this is also very uh, good for dry skin. So I just press that into the skin. I like to make sure I focus around my lips because around the lips area can um, does intend to be a little darker. So next step is this moisturizer that I actually custom made for my skin. It helps me even out my skin tone so you can basically customize it to your skin need Mine is fading out scarring. And I've been using this for what, about maybe two years. And I honestly cannot live without it. This is SPF 50 from Domologica. And I'm just gonna pump two pumps of that. I don't know why I do this, but I've seen like people do it because they say it like helps with blood circulation on the face, so I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm going to moisturize my lips because it is dry, baby. So I'm gonna just take my lip mask and uh, just put it all over my lips. So that is pretty much it for my skincare and now we're gonna get into the makeup. So my first step is my brows. All right, so I'm just going to be following the little brows that I have and creating a shape. Honestly, as a kid, um, I've always loved to do makeup. Well, I didn't know how to, but I love seeing my mom doing her makeup and stuff. I was introduced to makeup, you know, to sort of kind of help me conceal the appearance of my scars and all of that. I struggled for a couple of years trying to learn how to do it and it became something I eventually fell in love with that, you know, now I'm more so like comfortable coming in front of the camera without the makeup and then showing people like, you know, how I could slay some face. It wasn't easy for sure. And it wasn't something that happened overnight. It took years for me to like leave the house without makeup. But I think finding myself and finding my own worth I honestly, I feel so comfortable being in front of the camera like without my makeup. And then I love the artistry of it all. Right now, I'm just pretty much cleaning out my brows. And now you guys can see it, you know, a little better because it's popping and I'm using the Kevin Aquan concealer. 
Next step is priming. So I'm going to be taking this primer from Tatcha. This is a silk canvas primer. It also like helps smoothen out my makeup. And I actually use two primers. This is the Grip Primer. And again, this, oh my God, it makes my makeup last all day. For my next step, I'm going to be taking the Fenty Stick Concealer, and this is in the shade Espresso. And I just like to use this to help my skin look glowy. Apply it all over. And then for my foundation, I'm going to be taking this foundation from Pure Cosmetics. This is my everyday, every single day foundation. I like to focus my foundation on my scar because it gives me, you know, the coverage that I need. And I put some on my forehead too. We are going to be applying foundation on my head just because I like the way it looks. It just evens out everything and I just blend the foundation out. And I like to do it in like stippling motion because then I get the pretty much fullest coverage. Nigerians really do be beating their face, okay? They beat their face to the gods. And I really love it because they're not afraid of, you know, wearing makeup and to be seen as, yes, I'm wearing makeup. I just make sure, you know, I apply it all over again on my head. <laughs> I'm just going to be applying my concealer. When I was growing up, back in Nigeria, I wasn't wearing wigs or anything like that because I didn't really know much about it and my parents couldn't really afford to like buy me a wig. So I used to always just wear hats or scarves over my head. But um, I remember the first time I got my wig was actually when I moved here and it was my first Christmas in America. And my aunt actually bought me a wig probably what maybe a year or two ago my first time like actually posting a picture on instagram without my wig maybe 2015 and i did it and then i decided to log off of instagram because i was so scared i was like oh my god people are going to drag me but the crazy thing it was like completely different than what I expected. One of my classmates decided to like take the picture from my Instagram and like post it. And he said, Shalom is the real MVP. That's when I started getting comments and like messages from people just like sending me so much love and people telling me how much I inspire them. I was just like, what? First, I just like dip in there and I press it into the skin. And what I like to do is just go in and just keep pressing that powder into my skin until it pretty much sort of dissolves into the concealer. All right, so on to the next step, I'm going to be taking the Makeup Forever Micro Finishing Powder. And I just pretty much apply this all over my face. And this again, just like smooths out the face, honestly. I'm all about like, smoothing out my face a lot of people think i use some sort of like special makeup for my you know face and scarring but honestly i just feel like it has to do with the technique of how i do it so yeah and most of it is me stippling um my product instead of like moving it so next step i'm going to be using the fenty beauty sun Starker bronzer i started doing YouTube videos 2014, 2013. And I started because honestly, I came across beauty channels on YouTube and I just fell in love with the idea of people like sitting in front of the camera and putting on makeup. I thought it was the coolest thing. I'm going to be taking this eyeshadow palette and I'm going to be taking this pink um, cannibal shade and then this light and airy shade and I'm going to be using it as my blush today. Next up, we are going to be doing this dramatic eyeliner. Um, I'm going to be taking this black eyeliner paint and an angle brush. You guys know how eyeliners can be a struggle 
one would look okay and then you try to go in to fix the other one and then it just keeps getting bigger so here goes nothing i like to start like this this is when i want to do a dramatic eyeliner So now I'm just gonna go on top here and just make another line. And I'm just connecting it to the first liner. So now I'm going to be taking this blue eyeshadow powder and I'm just going to be laying that on top of the black eyeliner. Take my um, makeup spray and just spray it on that brush just so that it makes it much more pigmented. This blue is so pretty. Oh my god, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? All I'm doing right now is just patting the loose um, eyeshadow onto the eyeliner and I'm making sure I'm following the eyeliner. So I'm just gonna go in with the concealer and just sort of clean this up. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my lashes. And the trick to like applying lash glue is not applying too much. The mascara to blend in the falsies with my real lashes. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and take Fenty Beauty highlighter. Let me just top that on top, lining up my lips, and I just do a little bit of overlining. Cause like this side of my lips is like orange, so it's not even. I do think that we all struggle with our makeup at some point. And for me as a beginner, child, it was a struggle. But I don't know, I think with time, you just kind of get better and better. But I would never, never want anybody to see like those pictures of me back in the day so i'm just gonna go ahead and pop a clear lip gloss on okay so for my last step i just like to go in and set my whole entire face you see the glow all right guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoy it and remember to always be your own kind of beautiful bye